Is there a particular kind of joy in acting? I think as a human being, we all share 360 degrees of emotion. When you're exploring a character, you're really exploring yourself. You're finding in yourself qualities that help you illuminate this character you're trying to create. This life force grabs you. It's, I've always thought of it as, as, as catching a moving train. You're a brand new college graduate, a new middle school teacher in the tough school district, and it's your first day of class confronting a class in chaos, trying to shout over the students. People, people, okay, quiet, 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 okay, hold on. All right, now I've got the floor. Everybody sit down, sit down. Okay, look, this is day one. I, is this the way we're gonna start? Okay, listen to me, listen, 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 listen! There are some characters that I've, you know, not wanted to take home and others that I didn't want to stop being. You have to find things about them that makes you understand them and care about them and understand why they do what they do. But there are characters that I've played that I wouldn't want to take care of my children. You've come from a tough neighborhood your whole life with tough vernacular and tough people. You're now the murder suspect of your husband. You're being interrogated by the police. And there's two parts to this. One, you initially make a strong case. It couldn't have been you. It wasn't you. You weren't even near the scene of the crime. And then I'll give you the second part of it. Don't be crazy. I wasn't even there. Yeah. I, I was at school picking up my kids. Yeah. Uh, I don't care who saw me. I wasn't there. Then, after two hours of interrogation, where they have accumulated facts and evidence against you, you're now crying and pleading. How could you think I'd do something like that? How could you think I'd do something like that? Yeah. I love the guy. Yeah. I mean, it was horrible. He beat me. He beat our kids. But I, <gasps> I loved him. I don't, I don't know how you could even think I'd do something like that. What do you think? I'm crazy! The other thing that interests me about your work is how you can so readily expose yourself. It's not really you. There's a thin veil that protects you. Something happens when you're given words. You're so focused on trying to make those words come from your, your solar plexus and trying to find the music in that character uh, that you don't, you don't think about it as exposing yourself. You're, you're exploring yourself. You're, uh... 14-year-old daughter of a very nice mom who wants to sit down and discuss sex with you. And you don't want to hear a thing from your mother about this. I know, Mom. I know. I know. I already know this. Mom, come on. Come on, Mom. No, I don't. I want to want to hear it. No. When I was doing Coal Miner's Daughter, I wanted to really be able to capture Loretta's rhythm, which was very unique. And so I, I, I spoke like her all the time. And it was funny, my husband came to visit me once, and our little dog, Heidi, was running to see me. You know, she was so excited. And then I spoke to her in my Loretta accent, and she just put on the brakes. It was great. It was the greatest critique I'd ever gotten. Yeah. It was wonderful. You're at a... Um a Portland Hollywood party, you're 25, and you see someone across the room that you haven't seen in two years, um, a director. You start walking toward them, really happy, and the closer you get, the more you realize it's a total stranger, and you don't know who it is. Right here. Uh, oh, hi, hi, oh, hi, it's so good to see you. Oh, oh. oh. God, I thought you were so, I'm sorry, I thought you were. I've always <laughs> laughed when, you know, you finish a scene and it's like, you know, it's just one of those magical experiences and they say, okay, just do again what you did then. And I'm, I think, what happened? Where am I? When a scene really plays you, you don't know what happened. You just have this, you're just taken on this 
this trip. You really get to cheat in life. You get to experience things that you wouldn't, with, with, with total abandon and with a safety net around you. You're a mom, a 35, 40 year old mom whose oldest child, a girl, has always been a little wild, 13 years old one day, comes home in the back of a very scary biker's motorcycle. What are you doing? Yeah. First of all, you're not allowed to ride on the back of a motorcycle. You know that, don't you? How many times have we talked about this? And he's 18 years old. You are jailbait. If you don't think about yourself, at least think about him. He could go to jail. And that's probably exactly where he should be. An actor is just someone who studies human nature and studies people and is a people watcher. I love actors so much, I just can't tell you. I love them. I love them. They're people who give you everything. They open themselves up and they show you what they got. And there's nothing more beautiful than that. You're a young woman out for lunch with two girlfriends. And somehow during lunch, the subject of men comes up and it's funny. And you guys get into one of these hysterical laughing fits that only close friends could do. 